Hi guys, welcome back uh, to this, in today's adventure. So we have to bring back the book, like the, the chamber to unlock this mystery, something, I don't know, the ancient. So let's crack the code and bring that book and see what's, how it is. Oh, I have to go inside the wall. <laughs> uh, let's see if uh, the rebellion here. <sighs> Get it. Oh, I cannot open this box. Can I? Let me answer. You can have, like I said before, yeah, there's a two um, different spot you can choose. If you want to have the stronger one here, and uh, I'm gonna go for chain this one here. Let me see what we have here. I want this one this here and this one here. So we don't need anything else. You have to learn more spells or something, so I have to unlock those. I still like wondering I can why I can't open this this chest here. Whoa! He's the eye looking literally. Look at the eye. However. Oh, and somehow I have to learn like craft stuff. I haven't I'm learned it yet, so. Back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. There's a key here. Maybe there's a fly somewhere. Revelio. A butterfly. There's chests upstairs. I have to go back. Collect them chests. Learn the Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. There we go. Come here. Yep, we gotta go back. You have to like slap that butterfly to be more accurate. Yep, there we go. So I got the this token. I got like five or ten tokens. So we need to I think 15 or 14. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Have to follow this a little bit. There we go, we are back here. Oh my god. <laughs> There we go, we got him. Revelio. Yeah, we got one more here. See what is going. Where is it? Hmm. I think upstairs. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, we got him. Oh, 
get it back at Hogwarts. Mm, okay. Maybe there is a. Fast travel. Let me just look at the map. We are close, but not that close. Just like go back all the way. Oh my god. Should have done that the first time. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Now you can use your broom. That's great. Mr. Clopton, Nervous. your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my That's whistle while you're in flight, <laughs> ground yourself at once. Good. Now. For your oh first God, lesson, okay. fly through each this ring in the good. courtyard. Do take care. Oh, yeah. The broom is a school property. I want them returned in one ah. piece. <sighs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I think I'm good. No. <laughs> Uh, this more advanced. Where is more this advanced? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, it's a speed one. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Aha! Brilliant! Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Oh my god, oh my god. Nope. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> This is rather fun. Oh, well done. Have a moment. Oh. 
I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Can't sure, say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. This guy is trying to teach me. The tour me, like... is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the I window like... today. Oh my God. Let me just fix, fix something here. Uh, what is the settings here? Uh, I need some controller here. I have to like turn on the inverter looks or something. Uh, where is the invert? Mm, I don't know. I just wanted this one because my, you know, my mind like works different. I can't like <laughs> uh, camera, yeah, but invert a look. Let me try this. Look, still the same. Okay, let me see. There we go, I'm blind. I'm blind. There we go. No, we gotta go back, go back. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yeah, I play Call of Duty, so... Ahead of the <laughs> gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still... Because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then? If you can, you should. Wish I could. 
I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitches in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. So the reason I just turn on this uh, settings here for a PS5 and we're in flight mode because I can't use with a normal one. I'm playing also Call of Duty, so I can't like do the inverted look. A different mind. Some people, their mind like works different. Mine, I can't do inverted, so I gotta try it on. So in case you, if you wonder. There you are. The cross bonds. How did you fare? Let's go. Feel keen for some. Find the main mission, like. We gotta return that book. I don't know where the book. We came here for the book and then. Okay, there's a new spell. What is this? Professor Weasley Spellcraft. Hmm. Okay, find probably Sebastian is usual in the spot defense against dark. Class. I'm gonna go for this one. Meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Maybe I can use the door. There's a door. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room. Rebellious. You found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Oh my god, I had this one. Uh, let's go. See, we got it. Evanesco. Uh... Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. You got one more here, so I'm gonna just like put Evanesco here. There we go. Maybe. There we go. How can I just. No, we can just. Oh my god, this is very good. 
can also change. You see, like this button on the left corner. It's very cool. Excellent Evidence work. Go. You'll note go. that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Well, Lumos. In Merlin's name is that elf. Revelio. Is that goodness? My old school. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Yeah, a little dog tried to scare me. Lumos. Grab ourselves a cup of tea here. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Revelio! How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Lumos. <laughs> Accio. There's a broom. But unfortunately they cannot. Uh, there's nothing here. Disappointed. Okay. What is that? Mm, I think I have something to do with this. This room. Accurate. So what is the point here? Hmm. Let me just look around. Leviosa! Leviosa! No, 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 I think like. Accio! Did this trick? No, I cannot. Can I sneak? I cannot sneak. I can't jump either. So I'm gonna let... I'm gonna come back with that. So, to find the elf first. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Careful, huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. 
We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You've unlocked the disk of description and used the travel to reveal the magical properties of any other gear that you collected. Okay. Let's see. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Nothing to identify. For now, at least. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. So let's do it again. There we go. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. So 
we got a new spell. I have to sign the spell first. Uh... Where is the conjurer? There we go. Mm. I'm gonna go for this one. Nope, alright. Okay. Wow, we can just modify them. Wow, what is this is great. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh wow, it's like buildings and okay. Let me see uh, put this here. No. This one is more mine. There we go. And then it's like I think it's enough. And I'm gonna go for nope. Can you have potting table? Okay, got this one. I'm gonna put this here. There we go, maybe, I don't know. This one... This one's a lot more mine. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. I don't know what it is. This got description budget. Uh, I think we got one already one day. Yeah. So we don't need this one. And what is this? A board display to verses of pieces. Quite itching. I don't know what it is, is it? It's a big one. Okay. Rugs. I think I've actually like unlocked them first. Deke will be right. here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Thank you, bro. Hi, now that's great. I need potion. How can I like this one? Maybe I'll purchase Pippin's potion. What does this do? Drink, turn invisible. This drinker spell cooldowns. And we got increased drinker spell damage for a limited time. Create a storm around the drinker, which stuns and damage the enemies. Mm, enhance the drinker chance of success in Valkyrie River. So! Alright, guys, that's it for today's part. So I hope you enjoy this walk through with me and uh, until next one. Until next one. See you guys. Stay frosty.